Hey, this video is going to show you how to find the nth term of a sequence, a quadratic sequence. Okay, a general quadratic sequence will look something like this. A, B, C are the numbers we need to find. N is the position of that number in the sequence, the term number. First thing we've got to look at is the difference between each term in the sequence. As we can see in this one, this goes up 1, then it goes up 2, then it's add 3, then it's add 4. Now, this is changing each time. So what we need to find is we need to find when this change will become the same. So we look at the second difference. Okay, In the second difference, I go from 1 to 2, so that goes up 1. To get from 2 to 3, I go up 1. To get from 3 to 4, I go up 1. So the second difference is constant. That means we have a quadratic. The rule for finding A up here is, to, is this. 2 times a always equals the second difference. In this question, the second difference is 1. Well, that means a must be a half, 1 divided by 2. So we now know this number up here is going to be a half. So it's going to be a half n squared plus bn plus c. Now, we're not going to find b next, we're going to find c. To find c, we have to do something a little bit odd. We look at the sequence. 7 is the first term, 8 is the second, 10 is the third, 13 is the fourth, 17 is the fifth. I want to find the term that came before the first, the zeroth term. So if we look at the sequence, it goes 17, take away 4, gets us to 13, take away 3, gets us to 10, take away 2, gets us to 8, take away 1, Guess this to 7, so I would have to, by that pattern, take away nothing on my next go. So I'm not going to take away anything. I took away 4, took away 3, took away 2, took away 1, take away 0. 7, take away 0, is 7. This 0th term is C. C equals seven in this question. So I now know this part of my general formula. I know that it's seven and it's plus seven isn't it? So it's plus seven on the end. Now we need to find B. To find B always use the first piece of information in your sequence. We know that the first term is seven. So we know that when n term number, which is 1, because it's the first one, we know that the formula will equal 7. So the sequence, that should have been a Q, equals 7. So if I put 1 into the formula, which we've got up in the top, up here, I know it's going to equal 7. So, I've got a half, n squared, n is going to be 1. So a half times 1 squared, put the time symbol in there, plus b times 1, because n is 1, plus 7, because that's what c is, and we know that's going to equal 7. So now we've got quite a simple formula. Let's do some of the number work. Uh, we've got a half times 1 squared, so that's a half plus b plus 7 equals 7. Right, I want to get b in its own. So b equals... Rearranging that, doing a bit of number work. b equals minus a half. Right, we need to make sure we write this in somewhere on the page. Hopefully you can write a bit neater than I can on this. We now know b is minus a half. So that means you put minus half n. So our answer is half n squared minus a half n plus 7. Okay, here's one for you to do. I've got this. Remember the same three steps. a, or 2a, 2 times this a equals the second difference. 
C is fine by finding whatever number is in this position. And B, you use the first term and it equals 5 in this case. Okay, have a go at this one. My answer will be coming up in a second, so press pause. Okay, for this one, you should find that 2A equals 3, so A is 1.5. C, when you work backwards, again, same as the last one, this one you end up, you take away 12, then take away 9, take away 6, take away 3, so it's take away nothing, so 5 take away nothing is 5, so C is 5, and then substituting in, using the first term of the sequence, when N is 1, the sequence is 5, you get B is minus 1.5, so don't forget to write your final answer somewhere on the page. Let's try another. Okay, two sequences here for you to try. Press pause, have a go at them, and I'll give you the quadratic sequences for them in a sec. Okay, there's answers to those two questions. Let's try some more. Okay, three more for you to have a go at. Press pause, have a go at them. Okay, here are the answers. Okay, there's the answers to those three questions. Let's try some more. Okay, last one for you to go at. Have a go at this. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. I'll go through this one with you. 10 to 9, we've added 9. 9 to 32, we've added 13. 13 to 49, we've added 17. 49 to 70, we've added 21. Okay, let's look at the second difference. Each of these second differences, add 4. Add 4, add 4. So that means 2 times A is 4. Which means A is 2 in this question. Right, now to find C. To find C, we need to get to there. Because C is there, so the first term, second term. Right, so what have we done? So in this question, we have, to get from 70 to 49, we took away 21. 49 to 32, we took away 17. To get from 32 to 19, we take away 13. To get from 19 to 10, we take away 9. Okay, so each of these things we're taking away goes down by 4 each time. So to get from 10 to whatever number what C is, we're going to have to take away 5. 21, 17, 13, 9, 5. Take away 10, take away 5. Fuses with 5. So in this question, C is 5. Right, now to find B. To find B, we use this piece of information. So N, when N is 1, the sequence is 10, equals 10. So what do we know? I know that 2 n squared, because I know a is 2, plus b times n plus c, which we now know is 5, equals 10, when n is 1. So that is 2 times 1 squared, plus b times 1, which would be b, plus 5, equals 10. So we've got 2 plus b plus 5 equals 10. Rearranging all that, you get B equals 3. Now, don't forget, make sure you write your final answer somewhere. So we've got A is 2, so it's 2N squared plus uh, 3B plus 